Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at uh, an amulet that is probably one they've heard of. It's extremely popular and, uh, and there is a very good reason for its extreme popularity um, and it is the High Lord's Wrath. Uh, High Lord's Wrath is a very, very nice amulet that is only a level 65 requirement, which is pretty nice, considering there are some amulets that are like up in the uh, much higher. Uh, we have uh, plus one to all skills on this, which is not plus two, and that is a downside. Um, but it is plus one, which is an upside. I mean, it could be plus zero. There are amulets like that. Uh, we have 20% uh, increased attack speed, which of course is very nice for any character that can utilize off-weapon increased attack speed. Uh, not particularly great for a druid, um, because druid shapeshifters tend to get their attack speed uh, specifically from their weapon only. Uh, we also have adds 1 to 30 lightning damage, which is completely un unimportant, but also nice to have nonetheless. Uh, we have a very nice effect of plus Deadly Strike based on character level. Deadly Strike is the chance to completely double your physical damage, not elemental, um, when it succeeds. Uh, so at its maximum, at level 99, it is 37% Deadly Strike. And, uh, and of course, it is um, 0.375 per level. So if we were to utilize this um, on level, so at the exact level that uh, that we can put this on, so 65, we would multiply 65 times 0.375. Um, and we would come up with a, a, a pretty decent percentage of 24%. So not bad. Um, so 24% uh, on this on use to do double damage. Um, and this can be stacked with other items that have Deadly Strike. It can also be stacked with Critical Strike, which also does doubly de double damage. Um, however, you will never do times four. Uh, what it does is, is it rolls both effects at the same time, um, one and then the other. Sorry, one and then the other. Uh, critical Strike always goes first, and then Deadly Strike goes second. And as long as one of them succeeds, you will still obtain the times two effect, which is very nice. Um, this particular effect is extremely good for characters that do not not have access to critical strike. So an Amazon, for instance, has critical strike. They have an actual ability. Um, barbarians build critical strike through masteries. Um, you know, there are characters like uh, the Assassin, which has claw mastery, which can build critical strike. But Paladins cannot build critical strike. Uh, druids cannot build critical strike. Um, you know, necromancers and sorceresses cannot build critical strike. So characters that do not have access to critical strike tend to lean toward High Lord's Wrath for those reasons. Um, well, if they need critical strike. We also have lightning resistance at 35%, which is uh, nice to have. Uh, it would be better if it had some all resistance on it, but, uh, but it's hard to, it's hard to, hard to complain. Uh, we also have attacker takes lightning damage of 15, which is really not very important. Um, now, this particular amulet has a lot of uses. Um, like I said, when it comes to its very specific stats, um, the plus one to skills isn't really the main determiner here, although it's nice that it's there. The two main determiners on this amulet are the increase to attack speed and the deadly strike. Um, they are the reasons why you come to this amulet. So if you are a character who specifically needs deadly strike, then you are going to be looking at this amulet as your main amulet that you're probably going to use even, even end game. Like, uh, for instance, if you are a Zeal Paladin, Zeal Paladins are highly physical in nature. Uh, they tend to do a large amount of, uh, of physical damage, and being able to double that physical damage is a huge boon to the way that the character works. Uh, if you were a Frenzy Barbarian and you wanted to stack Deadly Strike on top of your Critical Strike to try and reach more of a... Um, a constant level where all of your attacks are doubling instead of just some. Um, this amulet is going to come in extremely handy. Uh, the increased attack speed on this at 20% is also very, very important to characters that are trying to get their attack speed as high as possible, like a uh, Zeal Paladin or a, um, or a Frenzy Barbarian. Um, now, the unfortunate thing about Deadly Strike is that there are some characters that Deadly Strike does not work on. Um, so, to go over this, we really need to know what skills we're dealing with. <coughs> so, Vengeance, for instance, 
um, which is a paladin skill, vengeance is uh, mainly elemental damage. And um, because vengeance is mainly elemental damage, it does not work on that particular skill. And uh, we also have other things to consider, um, like there are certain skills that are physical damage, but Deadly Strike still doesn't work. And uh, we're going to go over those right now. So um, right off the bat, let's go over the skills that do actually work. So Magic Arrow works because it converts to magic after the skill is finished. Um, calculating Fire Arrow, Cold Arrow are very similar. Lightning Bolt also works with Deadly Strike. Uh, Fist of Fire uh, Berserk works with Deadly Strike as well, which is rather interesting. So basically the reason why these skills work, even though they are not physical damage skills, is because they actually um, apply the conversion from physical damage to elemental damage before, or sorry, I'm sorry, after the calculation for Deadly Strike um, actually comes into play. Um, Deadly Strike does not work for Impale, Dragon Talon, Dragon Tail, Dragon Flight, Sacrifice, or Smite. Um, and this is um, a consideration that you'll have to take into account. So if you are a Smite Paladin, for instance, um, High Lord's Wrath might not be the right amulet for you. Yes, it gives you increase to attack speed. Yes, it gives you plus one to all skills, but the Deadly Strike you are getting no benefit from. Um, however, if you're like a Smite Sealer, maybe you know, you're still using it. Or if you're a uh, maybe like a Smite Paladin that also uses another ability. I'm not exactly sure what ability that would be. Um, but maybe, maybe you're getting a benefit from the Deadly Strike anyway. Um, so keep in mind that uh, physical damage... If it's a physical damage ability, usually it works. Um, however, like I said, it does not work with Impale, Dragon Talon, Dragon Flight, uh, Sacrifice, or Smite. Those are the those are the skills that it does not work with. Um, and uh, and really, there's there's not a lot to go over with this amulet. It's a very nice amulet. It's very sought after. A uh, little fun fact: I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I actually gambled a High Lord's Wrath um, in the beginning of Diablo II Resurrected. When Diablo II Resurrected first started, um, and we were just a poor little peasant group, um, I decided I was going to gamble for amulets because uh, I wanted to see if I could get some nice plus one amulets. Everybody was suffering for amulets at that particular time and sure enough if I didn't gamble High Lord's Wrath. Absolutely amazing. Um, so let's go over really quickly um, where you can find High Lord's Wrath. And I can already kind of guess that um, Nightmare and Dariel is probably going to be the best spot but let's put in the calculations anyway. Um, let's assume about 150% magic find. Uh, let's assume that we are going to be in a player's one game, which is usually how it works. And um, let's go ahead and put High Lord's Wrath. Find. Sort by probability. And let's go to bosses, shall we? So uh, in bosses, we are looking at um, Andariel in Hell Difficulty. Um, Andariel in... Uh, actually, no. Andariel in Nightmare Difficulty is not on the list. Um, so we are looking at mainly Andariel in Hell Difficulty, Bale in Nightmare Difficulty, um, Bale in Hell Difficulty, Diablo in Nightmare Difficulty, and uh, Mephisto in uh, Hell Difficulty. It uh, doesn't look like Mephisto in Nightmare Difficulty is on the list. Um, we can also take a look at Super Uniques. And uh, it looks like the Summoner, Nilothak, Radiment, the Countess, uh, Hephaesto, the Armor, Cow King, um, all in Hell Difficulty, of course. Um, it seems like this particular amulet seems to be almost limited to, to uh, Hell Difficulty for finding it. Um, because everything that I'm seeing here is showing me mainly Hell Difficulty, uh, with only the one exception that I've seen so far is Bale in Nightmare Difficulty can drop it. Um, and that is probably because Bale tends to be one of the highest level monsters in the game. Hmm. Well, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And, uh, and I know that there's not a lot to say about High Lord's Wrath, but... Um, if any of you guys and gals have any comments to make about High Lord's Wrath, you know, specific builds maybe that you have in mind, um, feel free to post them. And, uh, and as always, keep watching.